if you don't want to get there and get stranded, begin to pull calls across the university, or if you need to travel back because of incomplete documents, you need to stay here with me in this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Grow With Favor. I'm making this video right from Nigerian Christian Compass Fellowship in Apobu, Ikshokon, local government area of Oshun State. So this is our family house and if I go ahead my video, I'll just show you around a bit so you can see what this place looks like. Alright, so this is for us, this is our, this is our fellowship center, you can see it. The frame for my set, yes, so it hasn't been hung on the wall, this, these are those that have been hung on the wall, past sets that stayed here. For the additional service so i think i should be hung somewhere around there All right and this is our notice board you can see it written here All right the curate and up almost sub zone okay and this is our puppet <laughs> all right so this is what it looks like here your way that the orientation camp can be as far as traveling from the east to the north now, if you don't want to get there and get stranded, begin to pull calls across the university, or if you need to travel back because of incomplete documents, you need to stay here with me in this video. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you 11 important documents you must go along with the MRC orientation camp. All right, the first document we need, we'll be looking at, is the color plate. This is usually gotten from NYC themselves. You, of course, you should know that your color plate sent to you. you print it out, original copies, please always keep the original copies of these documents all right secondly number two you have your statement of results yes it's usually given to you by your university and it contains your course of study the degree awarded whether hnd bsc and your grade first class second class third class the third one is your valid school identity card yes you go along with it your valid school id card and you also have your NYSC green card. Green card is usually given is part of the document uploaded on your NYSC portal. Once you register and you go through the right processes, the green card will be there. You print it out and go along with it. It's indicated on their portal, so you don't have to stress yourself identifying it. Number five, you have your recent passport photograph. You can have about eight to twelve copies, ideal. And any background, white, red, blue, any background. But if you have like 8 to 12 copies, you can save it throughout your service year. Number six, we have a medical fitness certificate. This is usually given to you by your university or any hospital at all. It just indicates that you are fit for the orientation camp. And number seven, we have your NCDC COVID-19 RDT testing validation slip. <laughs> you know, as a result of the COVID um, experience, pandemic we all experienced, you have to go along with this. Yes, it's you fill the form, you fill it on your NYC portal, and the the slip is also printed from there, so you don't have to. Also, if you have your if you've gone through the first test, second test, that's the vaccine rather, you can also go along with it. It's very important, so it's very necessary. But if you don't have it, not, you've not take, been vaccinated, you surely be vaccinated there. The next thing is an uploaded document. This is for foreign students. Yes, foreign students can go with the uploaded documents. But now we have medical report. Now, medical report is different from medical fitness tests. Medical report is more detailed and it's usually um, required for those who have plans of relocating you have a medical report that states the ailment for which you want to be redeployed for or relocated from one state to the other also if you have special medical issues you can go with your medical report and if they if it's necessary they will exempt you from the camp activities signed by a doctor issued by a a federal hospital rather more preferable to general hospitals and i don't even know i'm not sure private hospitals will be accepted 
Number 10. Yes, you have your BVN. Yes, I'm telling you this because it almost put me to trouble. You have to go, if you don't have your BVN of hard, you have to go along with it. Write it down somewhere and go with it because you'll be needing it to, because you know, of course, new accounts will be open for you in camp. So go along with your BVN. Also, number 11, you should go along with your NIN. Yes, National Identification Number or your National ID Card. This document you might need for one thing or the other. So just why not go along with it and just keep it with you. And even if you don't go with it, even if you don't need it in camp, you might need it through your service Before I let you go, we're looking at the stationaries we also need. Remember I told you that in our last video that in this video I'm talking about the documents and stationaries you need for your orientation camp. Now for stationary number one, of course the writing material your pen is there, is very necessary. You also go with a job site yes, because of your site classes and your lectures. Go along with your jota in case you need to put down one or two things, important point. You also have your file jacket, the transparent one of course that should contain the documents to be going along with. Alright. Then you also have the white file jacket. You might not need that one right there in camp, but before you leave, you'll be requiring your use. You have need for white file because that's where you put your posting letter and some other documents when you're going down to your local government area and your PPA. The next one, the third one, you have your ID card holder. Yes, that is very important. You can just what's there, go along with one. Once you're giving your ID card, you fix it into the holder and you're good to go. All these documents, I would advise or I would recommend you go with at least three photocopies. Go with the original copies, go with three photocopies. Now, these three photocopies, you might not need all, but at least, at least three photocopies you can go with three go with five uh, so i will tell you to go with eight to ten you on your own my recommendation is just at least three of each and even if it's not enough you can always photocopy there in camp these are the important documents you need don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share with as many as you want to and also stay tuned because in my next video i'll be sharing with you important things i was never told and i wish I actually knew before i went from my rotation camp so stay tuned thank you